for at least six months. This sailboat has been out here. You can't see it now, but it's just below the surface and it's a hazard for anyone on a boat. High tide around Pelican Point. Boats and jet skis taking advantage of an almost perfect day on the water. But about 200 feet off the point and just beneath the surface, what's left of a 30-foot sailboat. You can barely make out the side of the boat from our Sky 5 drone. High tide, you can't see it at all. Low tide, it, you can see where it, a little bit of the side where it's rolled over, mm -hmm. but high tide, no, and there's so many people that come in and out. This is what it looked like back in January. It was already listing and was a hazard even then. In the months that have passed, the mast has been removed and the boat has continued to sink. Janet Ciatat lives nearby and at one point considered taking matters into her own hands. To try and pull it over out of the way, but there's no way it's too big and it's stuck. The Baldwin County Commission voted this week to open bids for a contractor to do the job. Money that comes to the county each year from the State Department of Conservation will be used to pay for the boat removal. It's awesome, yeah, because it, it's, it's bound to be an accident waiting to happen. An accident that could ruin an almost perfect day on the water. So the county is moving forward with getting that boat out of here. Now it's just a matter of who wants the job. On the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.